and generally it's a lot of discussion during this conference about multi detection, one of possibility for multi detection and presenting one uh, topic. So uh, this work was uh, done in Boston State University, and generally for mycotoxin detection, we choose for uh, most often. Uh, found the mycotoxin uh, in food sample and detect xeralinone, um, ophrotoxin D1, DOM, and aflatoxin D1. And maximum permit limit for this uh, mycotoxin, it's not exactly uh, established, but uh, anyway, we vary around uh, microgram or kilogram. So, general requirement for any kind of uh, contamination in food sample is uh, clear. It must be simple, quick, uh, quite precise, sensitive, and for its necessary multi detection for contamination. General trend, general tendency in analytical uh, method is move from chromatography technique to immunoassay technique because it's more uh, sensitive, more specific, and more important, it's more high through screening. I must say, important trend in analytical method, in immunoassay. It's more, if we, before we're talking about how precise, specific uh, method or how sensitive our uh, say, at this time we more concentrate how possible to make it more optimization, how to possible to reduce uh, sample volume, how to reduce uh, uh, reagent, quantity of reagent, and generally how possible to make hyper screening method, because we need to analyze a lot of sample. And uh, sampling problem mentioned today also in so to solve the sampling problem, one of possibility to make more high uh, screening, uh, more simple test. Generally, from my point of view, one of more perspective uh, technique for uh, this uh, high screening technique is fluorescence polarization immunoassay. Briefly, you know this method of uh, detection special analytical signal fluorescence polarization. We need two polarizers to detect uh, two components of fluorescence, vertical and horizontal, and to calculate uh, fluorescence polarization. Fluorescence polarization is quite interesting analytical signal. It depend, directly depends uh, on the size of your fluorescence molecule. If it's a low molecule, uh, it's a fast rotation, and we could detect low fluorescence polarization signal. And opposite, if it's some immune complex or any kind of big molecule uh, with fluorescent label, it will be more slow rotated and it will be high fluorescence polarization value. So principle fluorescence polarization one assay is very clear. It's competitive assay. Competition between your analyte in your sample, your analyte with fluorescent uh, label, and competition to binding with antibody. It's always an uh, immune reaction in solution. It's very quick equilibrium system, several seconds, and after that you could detect uh, one or three fractions without any separation. General advantages for uh, sensitization in the state compared with uh, common ELISA technique. It's no any separation, no any motion step, simple, quick, uh, quite cost effective, quite cheap analysis, very stable reagent, and very high precise. Uh, precision for this method. And one of unicum uh, advantages is very stable standard curve. One time optimized standard curve, you could use this standard curve for quantitative detection. You know, if you work for ELISA, each new plate you need to uh, make a new standard curve. For pure sense polarization, you would say one time prepare standard curve, you could keep it in memory for your computer and use it for quantity or same quantity calculation, depending on you keep constant temperature, you keep constant viscosity, etc. But it's possible. Limitation. Limitation, it's not so a uh, lot of limitation, and this limitation, temporary limitation. We try to solve this problem. Mainly, of course, it's a uh, matrix setting because it's homological uh, method in solution, so without any separation, matrix effect must be solved. Generally, this method is in automatization. It's like in medical, in medical diagnostic. At this time, uh, every drug, uh, drug, veterinary drug in medicine, uh, medical drug should be detected by fluorescence polarization. It's main technique. 
no allies and no biosensor. Really, it's used to understand polarization of the technique. And a different type of uh, instruments, for example, this instrument is like a new reader, reader which could be useful for uh, general, for ELISA, for luminescence, uh, fluorescence, and fluorescence polarization. 96 format uh, rates could be detected in few minutes, in one two minutes. So, some of fluorescence polarization instruments are quite portable. For example, you can see small size of this instrument. This instrument widely distributed to the world, and it's very cheap instruments, about 5,000 uh, US dollar. So it's like introduction. So what we have results? We try to develop multi fluorescence polarization immune assay. So generally, for develop any kind of uh, assay, we must synthesize important component tracer with fluorescent label and investigate influence structure of this tracer uh, on specificity and sensitivity of the assay. We try to develop method and detect real mycotoxin and other drug matrix effect to optimize uh, this method for real sample. So, uh, zero enum. Structure for zero enum, traditionally, we make uh, some derivatives for zero enum and conjugated with derivatives with amino derivatives of fluorescein, like this one, and to prepare tracer. This is a uh, one step uh, synthesis, it takes maybe several hours and we finish up TLC purification. In our research, we synthesize a lot of different tracer with different uh, bridge between fluorescein molecule and analyte, which connected to amino dome. So in rare different position, different plan uh, for uh, bridge between fluorescein and alumalite. This is one of optimal tracer for zero enum. Optimized condition, we could develop fluorescence polarization in the state. I could mention it in phases quite important. To develop any kind of immune assay, very important what kind of immune <coughs> reagent to use, what kind of antibody, what kind of uh, tracer. Here in this uh, the same uh, uh, six or five, five standard curve to detect zero enum using the same antibody and five different tracers. It's more optimal tracer could be found, which more sensitive and uh, analysis could be developed. After optimization, this is an uh, analytical performance for this uh, standard curve and detection limit for zero enum like three nanogram per milliliter and no cross reactivity with our mycotoxin. The same optimization, uh, synthesis reagent and optimization we made for another uh, mycotoxin for Don using the same strategy. And this is the optimal standard curve to detect fluorescence polarization in the same for Don and detection limit about 36 nanogram per milliliter. And uh, Specific for only one analyte. Uh, for aflatoxin B1, again, it's also we have a lot of different tracer, but more important, we check a lot of different available antibody for aflatoxin. We can could check, uh, compare a monoclonal, polyclonal, recombinant antibody against aflatoxin uh, B. Here, different uh, standard curve, several standard curve, different combination antibody and tracer. So, and you see, so dramatically two or the difference in sensitivity for analysis. After optimization, we could found one of more optimal standard curve for uh, detection of toxin B1, and more interesting, more sensitive method could be developed using polyclonal antibody. So, for small molecules, sometimes detection limit quite low if we use polyclonal antibody uh, compared with monoclonal antibody. And specificity of a state, of course, depends firstly from specificity of antibody. Here, uh, we could detect quite specific. We have antibody for aflatoxin, which could be detected presumably only one aflatoxin like B1, or we could uh, develop fluorescence polarization in a using different antibody to detect full total aflatoxin. So uh, we also try to make uh, to, uh, a recombinant antibody and we this work in progress to optimize, to find optimal recombinant antibody to change specificity uh, for analysis. But at this time, anyway, a recombinant antibody not so good.
compare with one of the analytic, which is used for production, economic activity. 